It's a deliciously dark twist on an old fairground favourite. House of Mirrors is an elaborate maze designed to disorient and make you discover a way out. I got a first go at the installation in Brisbane today. With the final panels being put up, House of Mirrors is just about ready to mess with the minds of its first visitors in Brisbane. The installation is the brainchild of Melbourne artist Christian Wagstaff and Keith Courtney. So we didn't want to do any sort of tricks uh, like special uh, digital effects or lighting. It's pure mm. optics, so we, we mm. stuck with those three key elements glass, steel and timber. With almost 100 mirrors and 40 tonnes of steel, it's taken four days to install the complex and winding maze. Getting in is the easy part. This really is a labyrinth and it is so disorienting and so confusing. I've been walking around for so long now and I still have no idea how to get out. The artist wanted to recreate the feeling of mirror mazes found in amusement parks more than a century ago. It's that extraordinary mix of pleasure and joy and a little bit of terror and fear. So there's, there's that real mix of emotions going on. How long does it take to get out? How long does it take to walk through? Depends on uh, how clever you are in working out the optics. Yeah, I mean, I mean, some people are staying there for over an hour. The installation debuted at this year's Dark Mofo Festival in Hobart, attracting 15,000 visitors. This is the first time House of Mirrors has travelled to the Australian mainland. You can visit, day or night, if you're brave enough, and children are welcome. House of Mirrors opens at the Powerhouse in New Farm tomorrow.